Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Pretty Girls Mahjong Solitaire. So, we have Nimbus here with his pole, his staff, and it kind of looks like he's just almost cutting off her head. <laughs> it, it's weird. It's not what he's doing. He's magically pulling a, uh, a magic trick here and going to change her outfit as we make the matches, but... The staff is actually in the way a little bit too. Interesting. We'll see what happens as we move further down. But so little of the screen is actually taken up by these mahjong tiles when it really should be the entire screen. And look how giant this pause button is in comparison. This this pause button is almost as big as her head. And these buttons are pretty big too. The staged around all very big. There's there would be a timer here if you're playing in hard mode, and then half the screen is devoted to the girl who's doing nothing and doesn't do anything. They just sit there and look pretty. And that's kind of all they were intended to do, and that's all they do. Uh they sit well they do make facial expressions and moan every now and then uh, but every third co connection you make it seems uh, man am I gonna have to use this help already this uh, this is a difficult one because there's just a, a lot of tiles on top of other tiles. And so getting a foothold and starting on the is proving to be a little bit more difficult. Stage one round three after we finish round stage two and stage three we'll unlock the I believe that would be girl number five, and then we should be done. But I suspect there might be a little bit more to the game. But maybe not. I wouldn't be surprised if there isn't. Let's click this. So this would work with this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And should I shuffle right now? Actually, I should, shouldn't I? Yeah. It would have been a big mistake to take both of those combinations. Hmm. Let's see. Nine. There's nine here. That. Seven. For the seven. Seven of dots, or... I don't even know what, what that one's called. Hmm. Nine. Hmm. Two. That one. Play that. I really don't like this song. It's too upbeat. It's too repeating. It repeats too quickly and too often. And it doesn't have any real change in the melody. So it's just the same, like, five notes played over and over again. And maybe not five, maybe 10, 11, 12. And this, this is one of those songs that's, it's not even easy to ignore. It's really bad. And then you think, oh, I'll get some sweet silence for a while and just be able to not have to listen to it. Nope, here it comes again. <laughs> That's exactly what I knew it was going to do. Hmm. 
this, 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 this. A shuffle. Here, 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 here. That one on that one. This two might prove to be a problem. So we've got to get to this two. And once we get to this two, we can make the match. Unfortunately, I think what's happened here, though, is this snowflake, this symbol which I've never seen on the Mahjong tile, is also under here. So, any connections I make here actually just lower my odds of getting a piece that matches this when I reshuffle. So we reshuffle in here, get to that. Snowflake now can be matched. Now that we're down to the lowest level, theoretically we won. There's no way to blow this up, no way to fail. And Arena got changed into a fairly business appropriate pantsuit. I mean, What's all that embarrassed moaning about? Uh, you, you literally went from just this dress to a pantsuit. Let's like, let's go over here. Like, this is her dress. Very, pretty conservative, at least by uh, Japanese anime standards. And it goes to really conservative business suit <laughs> it's like uh, it's nowhere as bad as they started with Rin Rin went from uh, her shrine maiden kimono uh, outfit to a sundress to then bikini 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 uh, and then Risa went from standard school uniform type dress to waitress to ma magical girl to devil outfit. And then Canon went from standard school outfit to, uh, to marching band, magical girl, and... Did we not do stage three? Um, because I'm confused. Uh, hmm. Yeah, here's her standard outfit. Here's the first two outfits. We must have, at some point, totally forgotten stage 3 on canon in an effort to just make progress for with Arena. So we must have unlocked Arena and just went and done hers. So let's correct that and let's go to this outfit and let's see what happens. Uh, so three rounds in an attempt at the very least this gives me different music to listen to that's appreciated oops played the wrong move there hmm. but one of the issues definitely is this idea of trying to dash through this and that I'd really love to accomplish that but I don't think I actually can and I think I might mess myself up if I tried 
Like, I'm moving pretty fast here. And, but my fear is holding me back from going any further. At least until I get to this point. And then, once I'm to this point, I'm alright. Because I know I'm safe. Hmm. Round one, success. Let's just quickly move into round two. Let's see. Different music. I, I beat the music there. Uh, that would be a cool kind of achievement challenge. Beat the music on this level. Uh, but you would have to make the level specifically made so it would be pretty difficult to do that instead of just incredibly easy like I just did it. Uh, hmm. Or you'd have to put really good music in there and make the player desperately want to stay in the level until you hear all the music. And then you could give an achievement of something, something along the lines of I, I'm deaf or I don't like music. But getting an amazingly good soundtrack is is a difficult challenge. Otherwise, a lot more games would have them. And they don't. A lot of times, the soundtracks are not even big deals or they don't even care uh, when making the games. Let's see, I could do this. I shouldn't have done that, but I did it. Let's see, this with that. And I want to come over here and switch to 2D for a second. And go back. I think it might be a little bit easier to see how many pieces are stacked under it when you play in 2D. Because here we can see there's three tiles underneath this tile. Because there's a thick black line here determining that. See, I could easily make the mistake that there's a tile under this, and there isn't. Uh, There's the tile. And that's a match. And that's a match. And that's a match. But even though it might be slightly easier to tell the difference and that thus 2D helps you, it's an incredible eyesore. And I cannot live with that. that that's much better. Yeah. Hmm. Sadly, I was hoping to play all this game in one day. But at this rate, it's going to take me at least part of tomorrow. I can feel the steam falling out of me oh man and uh, mistakes like that certainly don't help uh, but I can feel myself running out of energy and think it's this is gonna be the last recording for the evening for me of course that doesn't affect when the videos air because I record everything in advance I wish I recorded them more in advance ideally I would have recorded this footage around Chinese New Year 2016 to air for 2017 uh, if I was a year in advance with all the games that have already come out then that leaves me free to uh, play brand new games with 
while still having a very consistent airing schedule of other games. Of course I could almost do that now anyways and just play brand new games, but I I like doing retrospectives of games and trying to play games that are a little bit older. Uh, sometimes I'll do old games because the company is coming out with a new new game and it's nice to see what they did in the past before pre-ordering or making purchasing decisions or what to be aware of. Uh, sometimes there's other reasons. For instance, it's Chinese New Year, or there's a movie coming out that's based on the same property, or there's a famous TV show that's out. Um, and sometimes I just like to cover old games so we can. so I can explain my perspective at least on how the video game world has increased its popularity and its ability to make good games and sometimes how it's actually gotten worse over the years but usually it's gotten better one thing I, I could argue very easily Nintendo in particular I think has gotten a lot worse over the years by just not staying up with the times and we, you can say that with several companies where they're trying to they're trying to do the same level of quality they did 10 20 30 years ago and uh, demand has just risen and quality has risen drastically since then for instance uh, Tomb Raider the original Tomb Raider versus the reboot uh, it's night and day difference there. You, you could not come out with a game like the original Tomb Raider. Even if you were a single person programming it, it wouldn't sell. People would say it was a terrible effort. Plus, the support software for programming games has drastically improved since then, so there's no reason why you'd come out with a game like that. In modern day, not when you can make something in Unity or Unreal or any other of the many engines you can use. Hmm. Let's see. So we've got this little frog face, and ooh, it's hard to just see the tiles on top of each other start here. We've got a lot of matches. There. There. And before I make this match, I need to make sure I haven't exhausted any of the others. Actually, I need to shuffle if I've exhausted all the others anyways. Do I have any other matches or am I just sitting here? Should I hit this again or should I shuffle? Just shuffle. And my eyes are losing focus. Uh, it's just turning into one big blur. 
now. Hmm. And see, even if I'm finding matches, am I making the right matches? Or am I making cheap matches that are gonna hurt me in the long run? halfway there. At least the staff is going behind the dominoes. Still got a ton of matches that I missed. Hmm. Let's take that. 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 Get rid of that. Three, nine. Am I missing tons of stuff? Hmm. Hmm. And it's my song playing here that I dislike for the fashion. And that was a bad move. Got a five here. Got a four. The four can get rid of that at least. Uh, three. But this eight. Yeah, another pointless move. This gets rid of that. That's helpful. If I could only Let's see. Shuffle. Now this gets rid of that. And Let's see. this one with this one. Which this one with that one. And that one with that one. I have one more shuffle. I kind of want to save it just for an emergency. A three. Hmm. Hmm. This with this. Ah. <sighs> All right. Stage select. So we've got round stage three that I somehow skipped that I'll have to do. Stage two and stage three. And then this third girl is probably going to give us another three stages. And then we're going to be done with this series in both a short and small amount and long amount of time, honestly. It, too long for me because I really wasn't planning on investing this much time playing Mahjong Solitaire uh, honestly I wanted to hop into Mahjong for real which is much much my preferred game but also kind of short 
considering you're really not going to have anything to do after we've done all these levels. Unless it unlocks some kind of infinite, like, layout mode where it just randomly makes layouts or something. For a solitaire game, I don't see you getting more than 10 hours at most out of this. Not the hundreds of hours you would expect. Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me further, go to my main YouTube page. On the right is a button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.